Let me tell you about an awesome game that you should definitely play. This one's called Aces Wild. Now, what is the appeal of Aces Wild? It is a game about punching ninjas, brawling, and general awesomeness. Now, when you hear the word brawl, you're probably thinking of those kind of sluggish pace, move up and down kind of games that don't really go that fast and aren't that mobile. Aces Wild is anything but. You see, Aces Wild has a ton of mobility and is very aerial and is basically Dragon Ball Z with Jackie Chan and a guy with a sword and a ninja and it's pretty damn amazing. It's kind of like a 2D Bayonetta. You may think from this footage that the game's very complicated. It's not. It has very simple controls, but is very hard to master. Kind of the best thing you can hope for. Here are the controls. You ready? Okay. One button is Rapid. Rapid does your light attacks. One button is Crash. Crash does your heavy charge attacks. One button is Jump. Imagine what that does. One button is going to be Panic. Panic is a uh, heal function that can only work under certain conditions. One button is Dash. Dash lets you dash. And another is Dodge, which lets you dodge pretty much any incoming attack. Oh yeah, and if you dodge and hit uh, the attack button, you will counter attack. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's, that's about it for controls. There you go. That, 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 that's, that's all you need to know for controls. Does that sound too simple? Does that sound too button mashy? Well, let me tell you, Aces Wild does not let you button mash all the way through. Sure, you could probably get away with it early on in lower difficulty settings, but rest assured, if you're playing later on or you're just going straight for the hard modes, you need to utilize the game's mechanics to your best. You see, Aces Wild has this system called the Wild Meter and ranking. Wild will increase the damage you do, but also the damage you take. It builds up when you do your rapid punches. You can use Wild with crash attacks, and that will increase the damage of your charge attacks. The thing is, your damage is increased additionally with your rapid punches, but increased multiplicatively with your charge attacks, meaning that you want to do this weird balance of building up your wild while then releasing it with heavy charge attacks. Now, to further complicate things, you have a rank. Rank increases with the damage you deal, and since charge does the most damage, you can increase it fast with charge attacks. Rank will increase the rate at which your wild increases. The only problem is, since wild increases the damage you take, and rank increases the strength of the enemies, it leads to this high-risk, high-reward situation. And that's the trick with Aces Wild. You want to build up your damage, but you also will risk taking a ton of damage when you do so. So it leads to this cycle of building up damage, releasing it with your charge attack, and then building up damage more with even faster rates. But take a hit, and you're going to go flying. The other cool thing about Aces Wild is how analog all of the inputs are. What I mean is that every input can do multiple things. For instance, your punch attacks can be steered around, your charge attacks can be directionally inputted so you can shoot in different directions, your dash can go in different ways, your everything can be inputted with the D-pad in such a way that you can steer most of your attacks or dashes or dodges. It's great! You can do tons of different things with very simple inputs. No quarter circles or dragon kick inputs either. You just steer, press, and go. And you'll need these analog inputs because Aces Wild is hard. Sure, it may start easy with you punching a few ninjas, but then you start fighting things like girls with rocket legs flying around on a truck shooting you and stuff. Or you fight ninjas that have shields and they don't break and then they cut you up and it's annoying. Or maybe you fight a ninja and kill it and then it explodes into a bunch of other ninjas. It's crazy. You fight a guy called Fiddler Crab and he has a giant claw for an arm. You fight some dogs that burrow under the ground and pop out and hurt you very badly. You fight a dog that pees lasers. You fight a 
giant cat robot called Fancy Beast. It's it's madness, I tell you, and it's hard because they all have different timings and they do damage. And if you build up that wild, you're going to take a ton of damage. And even if you don't, you're still going to get stunned and then knocked around if you don't learn to dodge and don't learn to deal your massive damage. You're not going to kill them in time. You're going to have a horrible time. Or not, because the game's fun anyways. And here's the thing. You can select any difficulty in any level at the get-go. You don't need to unlock anything. You can just pick an area and start it immediately. If you want to fight that final boss at the start of the game, you can. If you want to fight him on the hardest difficulty and lose immediately, you can. Or you can play on Kong and just go through the normal game. Or you can play on sassy and go through the normal game. It's, it has boss rush, it has just wander around. See, the thing is, it's not about progress as much as it's about score. You want to master the game instead of really trying to beat it just one time. You want to go back and get better. That's where Ace's Wild delivers. See, the system you're playing with has a ton of room for getting good at and you'll suck at the start, but then as you go along, you get really good, really fast. And then there's a high skill ceiling. You can always get better. And there's five difficulties, five difficulties to let you get better at. And there's seven stages with five areas each and a boss that you can master. And it's great because it's not all random, no numbers that roll dice with. You just learn the game and you can get good at it. And that if that sounds cool, then this is the game for you, I tell you. It's mobile, it's fast, it's fun, it's easy to learn, it's hard to master. How much more do I need to say about this game to convince you that it is awesome? You fight ninjas on semi-trucks. Fight ninjas in lava boundaries and punch them into the lava and bounce them back and forth. You fight robots fight giant sword wielding flying things, you fly around crazily, you don't have to touch the ground at all, there's stages where you can't touch the ground. This game is stylish, and it's actually deep, and that is a huge thing to have that combination in one place, a stylish, easy to learn, hard to master game with deep systems that are easily approached. You can probably beat the game in your first playthrough in a couple of hours, but you'll keep going back to it for dozens of times again just to get better. And that's the thing. Really, it's the depth that draws you back. It's not the slow play or anything. This game is not slow. This game is fast. So yeah, buy Ace is Wild. It's ten bucks. Go. Get it.